Good morning from the Evening Standard Newsroom in London. The Duke of Cambridge has issued a scathing statement criticising the BBC for its failings around his mother's panorama interview, which he says exacerbated her fear, paranoia and isolation. William said he was left with indescribable sadness to know the corporation's shortcomings had contributed significantly to Diana, Princess of Wales' state of mind in the last years of her life. She was failed not just by a rogue reporter, but also by leaders at the BBC who looked the other way rather than asking the tough questions, the Duke said. The ceasefire between Israel and Palestinian militant group Hamas has come into effect this morning, starting in the early hours. It brings to an end 11 days of bombardment, in which more than 240 people have died, most of them in Gaza. Palestinians poured onto the streets of Gaza soon after the truce began, while a Hamas official warned its hands are on the trigger. Both Israel and Hamas have claimed victory in the conflict. Some London boroughs have only managed to vaccinate just over half of the over 60s and have some of the lowest rates across the country, while around four in five, that's 82% of people in England aged 60 and over, are fully vaccinated against COVID. Places such as the City of London fall well below the national average. The figures, published by the Press Association on Thursday, reveal the huge divide opening up across the capital's 32 boroughs. The EU's top official on climate change action has backed the German Greens' call for tax and pricing changes to make rail travel more popular than flying. EU Commission Vice President Franz Timmermans said, I support taxing kerosene like other fuels and nobody has to fly 10 or 12 times a year. And finally, Will Young has been revealing his story and how he overcame gay shame and found peace. The 42-year-old musician, whose new book To Be a Gay Man has just come out in paperback, says gay shame was part of my life from the age of six. It has clung on to me and literally stopped me truly flying in life. Other parts of the book reveal his addictions to shopping, alcohol and cigarettes and to buying houses, cars and clothes. I still have the rush of shopping inside me, he said, and it flares up on occasion. For the Evening Standard, I'm Joe Yule.